हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन आई वेलकम यू इन क्लास सेवन राइट दिस इज आर टम वन सिलेबस एंड वी ऑल नो दैट टम वन सिलेबस इज चैप्टर फोर टू चैप्टर सेवन एंड दिस इज आर थर्ड यूनिट द यूनिट नेम इज ह्यूमन एंड दिस इज आर सिक्स चैप्टर विच इज द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज ऑफ फिशी टेन नाउ प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई गेव यू द ऑब्जेक्टिव the characters and the some story of the uh, play now as we all know that this is a play and here there are some characters that the writer introduced here like george jerome um, old man <coughs> then carrier and solemn customer and landlord these are the characters that are here the writer introduced and apart from there is one character is mont morency now uh, previous lecture i gave you the objectives that we know about the uh, similarities and differences between the stories right because here the different person arise and they he or he is he was narrated a different kinds of the story in front of george and jerom because the setting of the play is in 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 means in hotel which is situated near riverside in wallingford another thing that they all are uh, means george and jerome are newly and they are stranger in this city so the people think uh, that they are narrated the story in front of them in different different way first old man arrives he informed him regarding the weather then after he informed them means jerome and george that he caught a fish which is trot it means there is one glass case glass box which is situated or stand on uh, one chimney piece right and uh, that uh, in that uh, glass box there is a one big and huge fish and jerome and george think about might be it is a cod trot pike minnow right and apart from old man says that it is a trot and he narrate the story to jerome and george that he caught this fish before the 16 years ago then his ex weight is 26 pound sorry 18 pound and 6 ounces right and he narrate the story he caught the fish which is near the uh, below the minnow bridge right then after arise carrier he also narrate the different kind of the story he we all know that when he entered into the inn that time in his hand there is a one pot of beer and he took a one sip of the beer and he said him that before the five years ago i caught it right see this story old man says that before the 16 years ago he said him uh, he said that five years ago old man said then that the weight of the fish is 18 pound 6 ounces while uh, the carrier said him what there is a 26 pound weight and he also said that i caught this fish beside the uh, below the lock so these are the different kinds of the story then after both uh, exit from the play now the rest of the play i will start here says that carrier exit he rem- he exit from the play a solemn looking man enters he sits by the window long pause so solemn solemn means very serious here once very serious person enter into in where does he sit so he sit by the window and there is a long pause now here george who knows very well that if i i will ask him he will also narrate the different kind of the story that's why he start to ask the questions turning toward the man he turned toward the man and asked him i beg your pardon pardon means ask for permission or uh, forgiveness and here says who enters after exit the local carrier the solemn customer enter after exit of the local care and what did george say to solemn customer so first of all he asked for the forgiveness and says that i hope you will forgive the liberty 
that we perfect strangers in the neighborhood are taking right so here first of all we asking the permission or forgiveness right so first of all i will ask forgiveness because we are stranger in this area and i hope you will forgive also and since it's liberty liberty that we liberty that we are taking it means doing something without asking for permission right we are not asking any permission it means doing something without asking for permission that we are perfect strangers in this neighborhood they are totally unaware about this area are taking but my friend here and myself would be so much obliged if you would tell us how you caught that trot up there see already george and jerom knows the story before know uh, knew the story of old man and local carrier here oblige means he required he requires he wants to know he forcefully informed that i hope you caught this fish right so i and my friend want to know that how you caught that trot up and then you will uh, you had put up here so and customer looks very surprised so what is the story of this uh, what was the solemn customer's reaction when during that time when when george informed him that me and my friend wants to know that how you could how you caught this trot up here so when he listened this story it means he make some power right he boosting him means george boosting him to solemn customer and he looks very surprised he was very surprised why who told you that it was i that caught that trot see this thing he says said why who told you that it was i that caught that trot who told you that that trot that trot the fish that i caught it who told you uh, jaram said oh nobody has had told it was we just felt instinctively that it was you who had done he says that instinctively means without thinking right he says no 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 one has told us right we just it means jerome and joseph says that without thinking that it was who had done it obviously you are looking very serious person and uh, apart from your appearance tell us that you caught this fish we are just thinking that only and only that uh, you are the person that you caught that fish solan customers laughing both are boosting him right so solan customer inform right solan customer narrate his story well it's a most remarkable thing most remarkable he used this two time word most remarkable right he used this time because it's a huge fish and that's why he realized okay they wants to know me they give me the praise right that uh, i am the very uh, brave person that i caught this fish here as a matter of the fact you are quite right right as you told me that i was the only person who caught this fish so you are quite right i did catch it see that i catch i did catch it but fancy you are guessing is like that he said i am too much appreciated i am very fa fascinated that you are guessing power dear me it's a really a most remarkable thing and surely it's a very remarkable thing but how did you go about it ask jerome jerome said how did you eat so he says that took me half an hour to land him just only half an hour i landed him it did nearly broke my road there is one road i broke down weight of this 34 pound see that old man says 18 pound 6 ounces then once again so local carrier arrives and he told him he told them there is a 26 pound now this person solemn customer said them there is a 34 pound weight it means the weight is increased the story is different even the weight is also different well good night gentlemen any take to good night and he live in solemn customer exit the landlord 
enters. So who uh, hear that? What is the story of the stolen customer? That he told them what only half an hour he took up it. He took this fish and lent him here and nearly broke my road. Right here his broke road was nearly broke my road and also says the weight of the 34 pound and then after exit. Now uh, what is the story of landlord? So then after landlord enters and says that well sirs fancy gym bags Joe Mughal and Mr. Jones are telling you that they had caught that old fish. Right? Now old man name is what? Jim Bags. Joe Mughal it means local carrier and Mr. John means that solid customer that I gave you the previous lecture the name of the characters. Right? Who was Mr. John? Who was Mr. Uh, um, Joe Mughal and who was Mr. Jim Bags. So here he says that Jim Bags Mr. Mughal and Mr. Jones are telling you that they had caught that old fish. They caught that fish, they informed you. Well, that is good. But they are the short to give it to me. Now it means they are different kinds of these types of the fish give it to me. To put up in my parlor. And I have to put into the parlor. They told me that you have to find out a different kind of the fish. So, he told me that you will give it, uh, you will catch this different fish and if they had caught it, they are. If they are caught this fish and they are also informed me. Okay, George, who did catch it then? Then after you told that they are not catch the fish. So, who did catch it? It means you are saying that they are boosting, they are uh, telling a uh, uh, wrong story to us. You, according to your opinion, you told me that, you told us that they are uh, they were not caught uh, this fish right so who caught this fish landlord said i caught it myself years ago he said what did he say i caught this fish before one year ago when i was quite a lad lad means very uh, quite a lad means very young Una unaccountable luck it was it was unable that i will unable to explain about my luck and suddenly then female voice calls from off test landlord exit. So, uh, whose voice does come from the off stage? So, female voice, right? Might be his wife called uh, called him. And <clears throat> what does happen with George? Sorry, how does George climb up? So, where did George climb up on the back of the chair? Right? He climbed up on the back of the chair. The chair slips and George clutches at the trot case to save himself. So first of all, George, where he uh, climb up, where does he climb up? So he climbed up uh, on the back of the chair, right? Back of the chair means, um, we all know that there is a uh, resting area, right? That we are taking the support, supporting area, it is the back of the chair. And he said what? The chair slips when he climb up, and we all know that when we climb on the supporting area, that what happened? The chair might be slip and George clutches clutches means what hold on to something tight he tightly hold the trot case why because he want to save himself the trot case falls with a crash and George and the chair land on top of it first of all trot case fall it and it was in uh, broken into the pieces and on this pieces George and chair follow. So, what does they happen with the trot case? When George clutches that trot case, that time it falls onto the land and it will, uh, it, uh, it is broken into the, uh, sorry, it is breaking into the different pieces. Jerome lifts up, lifts up, he suddenly jumps and runs to George. You haven't injured the fish, have you? See, here the question. Uh, previous lecture I also explained in the part from so it says that you haven't injured the fish
now see this word it is your question tag why here they are using so this word here right it is a negative part so the question tag's answer is positive it means question tag is what very simple and very easiest topic if there is a sentence right if this sentence before the comma if there is a sentence in positive so back side the answer is in negative if here there is a negativity so here the positivity so see that haven't you so just we have to write down what have you then put the question mark it is your question tag so uh, now question tag is what it means exactly when we are state the statement now we want the confirmation that is your question tag so he says that you haven't injured the fish have you might be that you, you haven't injured this fish have you or not tell me uh george cautiously i hope not he very carefully give the answer i hope not i did not injure the uh, i did not injure the fish jerome the trot has shattered shattered means into the pieces right broken suddenly and violent into the pieces you told that you did not uh, injure the fish but the fish trot the trot has into the shattered in different pieces it's uh, it's in it's in a thousand of pieces thousand of pieces you say that you did not injure the fish but already the fish is broken into the different pieces and the piece is more than thousands of pieces george says impossible because we know that if there is a fish we cannot say that fish broken into the pieces right we cannot use the, if we use the knife then and then after uh, it uh, cut into the pieces but if it fall down from anywhere do you think that it will in pieces no it will not uh, broken or break into the different pieces so he looks closely at the fish and turns into very look into the fish good god he says good god it's a made of the plaster of paris so all the person arise right old man local carrier landlord solemn customer they are narrated the different kinds of the stories it means they in you know, give the answers that what it is a real fish and they have to conserve right they have to cons- uh, protect this fish preserve this fish into the glass case but exactly this fish it is made of the plaster of paris right it is a statue of the fish not is the real fish but then and then after they narrate the story now so the question is uh, how is the truthful final truth finally revealed so when george climb up to the chair back of the chair and when it slips right when it slipped and he fall and when he clutches the trot case and he falls into the land that time the fish broken into the pieces that time they realize okay all person are narrate the story they are all are wrong already this fish which is made of the plaster of paris this is not real fish so student there is a one more question who was montmorency i gave you the characters montmorency right but here not a single dialogue of the montmorency so who was a montmorency this is the main question in our mind and in your mind also that the sir gave you the here the in your the in our chapter also give that montmorency so who is montmorency now the montmorency is a dog we cannot exactly say that it, it is a dog or not but according to our picture according to this picture see he is a jerom he is a george he is a, it is a trot case and it is a montmorency so we just guess that montmorency is a dog so student here are six chapter is over i hope you understand this chapter very well if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you student